This is the beauty that I'm watching while I'm sitting here. So, finally getting a chance to dry out Big Blue. That backside gets pretty damp when it's raining constantly. Hello. Hello, pretty blue eyes. Hello, pretty blue eyes. <laughs> Aren't you nice? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a nice girl. You're having a good time at the beach, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I do love my toilet. What I don't love, that it's no longer available on Amazon. I like that the lid comes down the edges, has an edge to it. I like that it's, oops, has another cover. I like that it fits a nice big pea bucket fits the bags really nice. What I don't like that would actually fit better in the van if it was not elongated, if it was more round. By the way, my Luminad is being charged at the moment. That's why it's hanging there. Normally it is up there. Hanging out with all my little knickknacks. I never mentioned this light here. This is a regular plug-in light from Canadian Tire. I plug it into my little Jackery when I need it. And that's for cooking. Because so, I like direct light onto my stove. I love my USB lights. What I don't love about them is I, they're not just a flick a switch situation off and on. I have to take them down in order to recharge them. But that's okay because at this time of the year, my battery isn't being, my house battery isn't being recharged as quickly as it would be in the summertime, so that power wouldn't be available to me anyway. I love my storage jars. Not a whole lot to say about that. I love them. Let's talk rugs. Sorry if I seem like I'm puffing. I just finished sweeping my floor and shaking out all my rugs. That's what I like about these little rugs. I can take them out and shake them out. They're nice and warm under feet. They're washable. I throw them in the washing machine. This big one here is a new one. So I haven't washed it yet. So we'll see if it softens up. Not, I can't remember if that, you see that big, that blue, that navy blue one way in the back. I think it used to be quite firm like this one. But in the washing of it, it softened up. And same with that blue one. They are the foam rugs. And when I first start, oh, wait a minute, I'm gonna back up a little bit. And through a lot of experimentation about what to put in my entryway, I went back to my roots, to my childhood growing up. Good old cardboard in the doorway. 
to collect water and it can be taken out and replaced whenever it gets dirty. It's getting to that time now. I know oh, I probably should have put Reflectix on that during the build, but unfortunately I didn't. Now it is quite a task, especially with my concussion where I have a hard time with my neck and bending and stuff like that. This is a ShamWow. And we can see that. ShamWow. It's beautiful soaking up water and holding it. And it dries quickly. shove it under my wires my wires to my batteries from my charge controller are here this is tricky Shoving it under the wires. It would be better if it was longer, but it isn't. And once it's up there, it stays up there. Because I've got my... my um clothes storage on in front of it okay come on get up there stay there there we'll call that done ah Behind this wool blanket and the Reflectix is a window in my high top. I love having a window in my high top. My upper storage. I really like my upper storage. I really love it actually. I can say it's something I love. Because I prefer this kind of storage over actual cabinets. Has more character, feel to enclosed if it had upper cabinets. And of course it provides thing places to hook my cloths in this wet, wet, wet climate that I live in. I need room to hang things because I'm constantly sopping up water. I live in a window van, remember. Window equals condensation. Hi everybody. Ah, oh, get myself high enough. Not a tall person. Hey, there you are. Little Belle. Turn this guy around. 
<laughs> but this video is about my Luminad inflatable light. Um, it has a solar panel, perfect. It has a USB charger. Yay! Um, I do have, no, no, wait, back up. I love Luminad's more than Lucy lights. Maybe there's some Lucy lights that come with a USB charger. I don't really know. But I haven't had good luck with Lucy lights. And actually, I had one last summer and I left it at a campsite. Oh, God. And it actually did work pretty good. But it was a summertime thing. And I could just put it in my window while I was driving. So it wasn't a big deal about charging it. But I think the Luminad holds its charge longer. And what I love about it is it charges very quickly. It really does. Um, I think it charges quicker than the Lucy. Having said that, Lucy, I couldn't plug in. So maybe it would. Hmm, I'm not sure. I may... <sighs> Sorry about that, folks. Uh, I may have mentioned the Lucy light in previous clips for this video, but... I needed to add that little thing on there too. I love my fans. They are multi-speed, meaning they're variant speed, they're clip-on, and they're also 360, and they're also, I don't know, somewhere between $25 and $30 from Amazon. I use one of them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not good for the fan. Use one of them buried here. Okay, I finally got the fan clipped on. My heater is below it. I put the fan here. I bring it down just a little to bring the heat down because as we know, heat rises. And I turn it on. It's just barely on. See, it's various variable speed. I don't know if you can hear that. Anyway, put it on its very lowest. And that brings the heat down that's coming out of the heater and into the back of the van. And the other two fans. <laughs> Do you need to hear this? Go in the back when I'm having a poop to get the air out the back door window when it's open. When I, because I do open the window. Yeah, enough, enough. Don't need to say more about that. There's big blue in the background. I'm walking up a very, very steep little hill. So big blue is going to disappear because it's too low as I get higher. Oh, no, there it is. Okay. I wanted to say, I forgot to mention actually, what I didn't like about the little fans, but also the USB um, lights, is that they are powered, oh I've got lots of debris to get through here, they are powered by, here let me show you, lots of debris to get through, but also, Spring is around the corner. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh. Here, I don't know. This one has the light on it. Look at that. Wow. Anyway. Okay, I'll put my face back on. What was I saying? USB lights. USB fans. They powered, or, or the lights anyway, that are powered by a separate USB cord meaning micro USB. The little micro port is very fragile. So you have to be very, if you're thinking of buying them, be very, very gentle with the micro um, port in those fans and the USB lights. Maybe you can see how high I'm getting. It's quite a little climb. It's hard to see in the video, but it is quite a climb. Anyway, I wanted to apologize for 
taking so long to get this video up. Things have been happening in my life. Okay, wait a minute. Turn me around. Things have been happening in life, including starting back to work only one day a week for a few hours. But also, in my next video, sorry, I'm puffing. That was a long climb. In my next video, I have decided to share with you some very personal stuff. So stay tuned, subscribe, click the bell, click all, so you can get notification every time I upload a video. Bye for now. Love you all.